Hello, welcome to this week's video. I slowed down the clip so that you can actually see the fireplaces themselves. This is the uh, video that I took upon day one of entering this property and looking at it as a potential property to buy. As you see, the fireplaces have like plaster on the top and then have like this weird brick at the bottom that doesn't look like original and like this weird insert. Uh, so this is before I even purchased the property. Now I purchased property and you can see the dining room, the living room, the guest uh, bedrooms, master, all of these fireplaces are completely a catastrophe. And then this hidden fireplace I didn't know about, which is like where they would put a pot belly stove. They removed, it was like a little circle piece right here. They end up removing. Um, I decided to keep that one because I said it tells a story where the pot belly stove used to sit. So the first fireplace that we're gonna go through is the living room. This had a, like a, a electrical insert, but they damaged the fireplace to get it in there. So I had to get a masonry in there to fix it. And then he's rebuilding. So all of my fireplaces, I could not put a wood burning fireplace there because the death of them, they were really coal burning fireplaces. So they used to deliver coal underneath the house. And so I only can convert my coal burning fireplaces to electrical fireplaces. And so safely, they end up rebuilding the brick, putting the fire safety, everything, whatnot, in the actual um, actual fireplaces themselves. And then they acid wash it, everything. But that black soot from the coal burning years and years and years won't come off. But that tells a story, and I'm okay with it. And as you see, after days and days and days, the fireplace keeps on um, getting lighter. And so we'll continue to do that until it gets to the same hue as this. Um, uh, what did they do? <laughs> they primed. Uh, the fireplace guy is almost done. He has to put the mantle back on. Um, so like I said in the video, over time, the actual brick will lighten. And it did. It looks really nice. Now this is the master. They took the glass off and how you can really see the damage of what occurred behind that glass. Um, my contractor is also ripped off. There was a glass right there or a mirror. They ripped that off friends. This is the master bedroom in here and The same thing with this fireplace is going to happen on um, the towel is sitting underneath there The hearth in and around the fireplace and then this one will have an electrical insert. They did finish all of Now we're looking at the guest room fireplace it's just the hearth that needed to be replaced. And so I wanted to completely seal off um, the fireplace from the roof so that there couldn't be any little critters that would get in. Okay, so I haven't done an update in a long time. Uh, so with the fireplaces, still waiting on that to occur. This is the tile that I selected. It's going to be on the hearth and around the outside of the fireplace refinish and done my um contractor is going to paint it either gray or black i'm just trying to make a decision as to what color that would look nice because we're not touching the fireplace itself i don't know and the last fireplace that we're looking at is the dining room fireplace and here is uh the same thing prying the walls and uh the mantle has to go back on the black. They're having a hard time getting that off. Um, this one had the ugly faux brick that they removed off of the front. And then what he did was acid wash um, so that he get all the white paint at the top. And then he acid wash at the bottom, but not all the black soot got off. But I was perfectly fine with that. The dining room, and I think it looks absolutely beautiful with the fireplace, like yay. Obviously, there's junk everywhere that needs to be cleaned. In fact, all of this back here is trash. Um, and this is all the tile for the um, rooms back there. They recut the mantle so that it could actually fit the size of the fireplace now since there's not this huge fake faux hearth on the front or faux brick on the front. But I think it turned out really beautiful. I hope that you enjoyed this video. This is a short one this week. Um, but I just wanted to really feature the fireplaces because they really make a true statement for this house. Thank you. Like and subscribe.